When it comes to treating hypertension, we all want the simplest thing that we can get that'll lower our blood pressure. We don't really want to have to change our lifestyles. We'd like to have some magic bullet that you just take this pill and it solves the problem. But it never solves the underlying problem. Not when we're looking for a magic bullet. And yet there are some natural things that we can do that we know about that will help us a lot. Things that will help to improve the way our blood pressure is. Some of the foods that we eat, our stress levels, uh, the amount of exercise we do, how much we weigh, how many environmental uh, toxins we're exposed to. An interesting article came out this past week talking about the potatoes can lower blood pressure. And you think, really, a starchy food like a potato is going to lower our blood pressure? It almost sounds ridiculous, because what do you think of when you think of a potato? Starch. When you think of starch, you think of what? Carbohydrate. And carbohydrate is what we're talking about. We're talking about the epidemic of obesity and type 2 diabetes. And nobody wants that. So the poor potato, it turns out, has gotten a bad rap. Now, admittedly, the study that was done, it was small, but it gave us, uh, it pointed us in the right direction. And what it showed that over a month, if you eat a potato a day that has about 110 calories, that your blood pressure is going to drop about 4.3%. That's a substantial amount, and it makes a difference, and it lowers the risk for heart attacks and strokes and other complications of hypertension. The potato also has a lot of phytochemicals, and it has lots of vitamins and minerals in it. It has catalase in it, in the skin, and it's all good for us to eat. And what this is pointing out is that when we process foods and we make high fructose corn syrup or we make sugar, the, the, other gluco, uh, the sucrose that's in table sugar, or we eat the other sugarized processed foods that we make, it's not the same thing as eating a potato. Potato is the way Mother Nature made it. It's not the same thing as eating fruit where there's fructose. Because admittedly it has the fructose, which is not that healthy for us. It would be the poison part of the fruit. But it all has the, also has the antidote, which is the fiber. So sticking close to nature and eating uh, foods that are in it without processing them much, but maybe having to cook them because we can't eat them otherwise, is something that's reasonable to do. To do. We don't want to cook the potato too high. We don't want, to, in my opinion, microwave it, although that's what they did in this particular study. What I would suggest is bake it. You know, bake it at 325. Bake it a little longer than you might normally. And what you'll find is you'll have a moist potato that doesn't need all the condiments. It's the condiments. Okay, the fats and oils, the sour cream, uh, all the things that go with, with, with that, the butters uh, that you put on it that have the calories and the foods that are not particularly what we need to have to keep our blood pressure low. So w when we're looking at managing what Mother Nature produces, yeah, if you can eat it raw, it's good. In the case of the potato, probably not the best thing to do. And uh, if we eat those foods, we're going to be in better health than if we just do what we've been doing, which is process them, refine them, change them so they're not really food products at all. What they are is or not foods at all, they're food products. Lifestyle is still the best medicine. We should be doing everything we can to reduce our stress levels, whether it be through exercise or meditation or however we have tools to use to reduce our stress levels. We should be getting eight hours a night of sleep so we can be well rested and our bodies won't have high levels of stress hormones which raise our blood pressures and put us at risk for a lot of other diseases. We should maintain a weight that's as healthy as we can if we, and avoid toxic exposures. If we do all those things and we stay close to nature, even the potato can be our friend. So let's not give the potato a bad rap. Let's just be sensible about how many we eat, how we, how we prepare them, and what we put on them. And if we do, chances are it's going to be just as healthy as having a, a bowl of oatmeal.